at this point, it's just getting embarrassing. <laughs> started with this video give it a thumbs up Boop. all right nintendo we gotta talk we have to talk on twitter stadia has tweeted out this is what they tweeted out our achievement system is here and you will now receive notifications when playing on desktop, laptop, and TV. You can either view your full achievements list on web, including all the ones you've earned since you began playing Stadia. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Google got into gaming three months ago. And they already have more features that Nintendo, we beat the dead horse. Y'all know for a long time, my biggest pet peeve, I'll probably still mainly be playing on my Switch right now. I'm mainly playing on my Xbox right now. They have achievements. And you know what? I already know what you guys are going to say. And oh, Obi Wan, achievements do absolutely nothing, they don't enhance your playing experience. You don't get any in real life rewards. Y'all the same dudes that tweeting out on Twitter, you're in my Nintendo um, record for the past year. I saw that. I was crazy. When I saw this on the internet, I was like, oh, the hypocrisy by Nintendo fans. Nintendo did like their year in review and that's all you saw on Twitter by Nintendo fans posting their hours, the games they played last year, all this stuff. That's why I like achievements. It has all your gaming record in one location tied to your account. But it's more specific than just hours. Anybody can do hours. Bro. It's time for Nintendo to get with the decade. <laughs> They're a decade behind. I remember when the Wii U launched. That's when I was like, Nintendo gotta have achievements with the Wii U. And they didn't. They had those half-hearted Miiverse stickers. They had in-game achievements on New Super Mario U. I remember that and I was like, man, Nintendo... When are y'all going to step up to the plate? I tell y'all, I'm invested in Xbox's ecosystem. Look at this. My gamer score right now, I have over 20,000 gamer score. This is why I say Nintendo. It hooks you, bro. You're like, whoa. And you click on it, you get to see all the stuff that you've done on different systems. I mean, on your, in your gaming. You're like, you know what? When the next co Xbox console comes out, I'm going to pick it up. I'm already invested. I'm already invested. I know this is a dead horse. I've been beating it for... I've always do. Every time achievements come up, I got to say Nintendo. And part of me is like, at this point, it's almost too late for me, man. Nintendo could achieve, uh, probably announce achievements in two months. I might be hyped. I don't know. I probably like, man, Nintendo, y'all should have done this three consoles ago. It hooks gamers to their platform of preference. It does. Why do you think every single company manufacturer platform what do you steam xbox playstation they don't just want to waste money on my uh, uh, pointless achievements they know it ties their fans to their platform 
you already got X amount of platinum trophies. You're going to want to keep playing on the PlayStation 5 next generation. I got over 20,000 gamer score. I'm going to want to keep increasing that score on my Xbox. It ties you into the platform. It's, it's psychological, bro. You don't think they did research and studies on this? And I already know. I already know what you guys are going to say. Um, they're pointless, Obi-Wan. There's no point in having them on their system. I don't want achievements. Well, guess what? Just turn off the notifications. Mind blown. That's all you have to do. Just turn off the notifications and it'll be just like you're playing your Nintendo console with no achievements. But for those of us who want it, why not give us the option? Why are you so anti-optional? It's not going to hurt you to turn off uh, notifications. Who is against options, bro? And so this is one area where I always felt Nintendo dropped the ball and Google Stadia is highlighting that fact. They, you think they just, you th Google is a multi-billion dollar company. It takes money to update the servers and um, have um, storage, cloud storage for your achievements, all that. You think they're going to invest all that money on point? They know. They understand it hooks gamers to their platform. I already know what you're going to say. Uh, I mean, one, just play the games for the enjoyment of the games. Bruh. Options. If you don't want them, you turn them off. But give it to the dudes who want them. And so, Google Stadia has announced they are having achievements. You'll be able to click on it. It's just a cool, a convenient way seeing your history, how you progress. And it, it, it adds to the value of games, bro. There's some games that I would have been done with, but like, you know what? Perfect example. I'm playing Star Wars Fallen Jedi right now, bro. Game is so lit. I'm trying to put in a trailer for you. <laughs> Fallen Jedi. <laughs> we do this live, bro. We edit on the fly. Because I'm that fly. I, 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 I. Hey, I'm playing Star Wars Fallen Jedi right now. Game is fire. But I tell you this. I see how achievements are affecting me. Your little robot. You know like how in Metroid games where you scan stuff with Samus's visor and you scan to get like 100% complete or whatnot? I never did any of that stuff because it never had achievements. I'm going to share this story and then I'm going to come back to Star Wars. I remember my breaking point with Nintendo, bro. It was on the Wii. Super Mario Galaxy. Favorite. Probably still my favorite 3D Mario game. Mario need to step, um, Nintendo need to step up with their 2D platformers too. Microsoft is taking their lunch money in that category. But, um, I remember Super Mario Galaxy. I did, I got all the green star challenges, all the purple coin challenges, put hours upon hours upon hours into that game. 100% <laughs> beat the game, did all the extra bonus levels. And at the end, Nintendo gave me a thank you screen. That was it. I was like, you know what? It would have been cool on my Switch to turn on my profile, my account, and see that history. Look at what I did in Mario Galaxy. But no. Nintendo's robbing me of my glory. But in Star Wars, this is how it adds to the, the game. And Metroid, you know how you scan different things to get... You could scan stuff with your little robot. He scans things. And um, I'm scanning because maybe I'm going to get some kind of achievement for like, you're the scan god or something. It adds to the experience. I think I said everything that I wanted to say. Nintendo should have had achievements a while ago. Why are you so anti-optional, bro? I had dudes arguing with me on Twitter. That the Wii had achievements. 
as a point to Nintendo's bid on their... Bro, ain't nobody turning on their Wii. When did the Wii had a chance? Who cares? The Wii U had stickers. They were lame. Those were not achievements in my book. Guess what? Even if you... Okay, I'll even give dudes who say the Wii U had achievements. Go look them up right now. Go. I'll wait. Oh, wait. Nintendo shut down me first. Ha! Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we out. frown upside down Mario it's probably my last time beating this horse dead horse call Peter I dare you